racing towards the final flight, and it's Cecil Corbett, the leader, followed by It's Hard to Know who's got on from Rufino in tight times, and at the final flight, it's Cecil Corbin in front of It's Hard to Know, who's trying to stage a rally on the outside, but off the turn, it's Cecil Corbin in the lead on the far side from It's Hard to Know. They're clear of tight times in Rufino, and deep in the closing stages, it's Cecil Corbett now lengthening right away from It's Hard to Know, and at the line, Cecil Corbett will get his head in front, and deservedly so, and another winner here for Gordon Elliott. This one steered by... Paul Carberry, it's hard to know second, back in third is tight times and racing towards the final flight and it's Cecil Corbett the leader followed by it's hard to know who's got on from Rufino in tight times and at the final flight it's Cecil Corbett in front of it's hard to know who's trying to stage a rally on the outside but off the turn it's Cecil Corbett in the lead on the far side from it's hard to know they're clear of tight times in Rufino and deep in the closing stages it's Cecil Corbett now lengthening right away from it's hard to know and at the line Cecil Corbett will get his head in front and deservedly so and another winner here for Gordon Elliott this one steered by Paul Carberry, it's hard to know second, back in third is tight times, and Rufino. Ray's Creek, Mark Walsh from Versingetrix, and uh, Jack Kennedy over in second, four lengths between them, rounding the home turn. These two are well clear now of Theatre Mill, and up the hill they come. It's Ray's Creek and Mark Walsh in the lead from Versing Getrix, who's trying desperately hard in second, has still a couple of lengths to find, running towards the line. Ray's Creek from Versing Getrix, closing on the near side, but Ray's Creek, Ray's Creek has just repelled the late rally of Versing Getrix. Ray's Creek, Mark Walsh from Versing Getrix and uh, Jack Kennedy over in second, four lengths between them, rounding the home turn. These two are well clear now of Theatre Mill and up the hill they come. It's Ray's Creek and Mark Walsh in the lead from Versing Getrix who's trying desperately hard in second, has still a couple of lengths to find, running towards the line. Ray's Creek from Versing Getrix closing on the near side but Ray's Creek, Ray's Creek has just repelled the late Rally of Versing Getterix and the third and final finisher, Theatre Mill. So Race Creek, the winner from Versing Getterix and Theatre Mill. Racing now towards the final flight, 24 years, is in the lead from Ide Embry, who's now moved second and closing on the leader. Over the last 24 years from Ide Embry, these two have gone away from Swift and third, racing round the home turn now, 150 yards to go. On the far side, 24 years, Paul Town and from Ide Embry and Andrew Lynch on the near side, these two now, as they run up towards the finish, 24 years as they go towards the line, is going to happen. Hang on, 24 years makes all to beat Ide Emery. Third is Swift, and they're followed home by Anskirt Lady, Jordana's Pride. Next. Racing now towards the final flight, 24 years, is in the lead from Ide Emery, who's now moved second and closing on the leader. Over the last 24 years from Ide Emery, these two have gone away from Swift and third, racing round the home turn now, 150 yards to go. On the far side, 24 years, Paul Town and from Ide Emery and Andrew Lynch on the near side, these two now, as they run up towards the finish, 24 years as they go towards the line, is going to Hang on, 24 years makes all to beat Ide Emery. Third is Swift, and they're followed home by Anskirt Lady, Jordana's Pride. Next. the final flight now on couple more over chased by show and go who was a bit untidy and then Carly Ann and exit seven rounding the home turn now a furlong to go and it's on couple more from show and go these two out in front of exit seven and Carly Ann inside the last 150 yards on couple more with show and go coming on the near side they are inside the last hundred yards on couple more is dying and show and go the top weight sweeps past and show and go gets up to win it for Andrew Lynch beats on couple more and in third exit seven and Carly Ann fourth.
at the final flight now and couple more over chased by show and go who was a bit untidy and then Carly Ann and exit seven running the home turn now a furlong to go and it's on couple more from show and go these two out in front of exit seven and Carly Ann inside the last 150 yards and couple more with show and go coming on the near side they are inside the last 100 yards and couple more is dying and show and go the top weight sweeps past and show and go gets up to win it for Andrew Lynch beats on couple more and in third exit seven and Carly Ann four. Top of the town, the leader at the last from Barrick Street, an ultimate horseman racing round the home turn now and it's top of the town and Paul Town and in the lead from Barrick Street and Jonathan Moore on the near side, the far side ultimate horseman and Jack Kennedy as they continue to climb up now towards the finish and coming back on the far side ultimate horseman but top of the town has possibly just got more left, top of the town, a double for Paul Town and has just held on the far side ultimate horseman who rallied in Barrick Street and Trolled Dairy. Top of the town, the leader at the last from Barrick Street, an ultimate horseman racing round the home turn now and it's top of the town and Paul Town and in the lead from Barrick Street and Jonathan Moore on the near side, the far side ultimate horseman and Jack Kennedy as they continue to climb up now towards the finish and coming back on the far side ultimate horseman but top of the town has possibly just got more left, top of the town, a double for Paul Town and has just held on the far side ultimate horseman who rallied in Barrick Street and Trolled Dairy. Coming now towards the final flight, Broughton's Bandit and Paul Carberry joined by Cousin Bill and Noel McParlin on the near side. The inside is a Barton, Luke Dempsey. These three have brushed off the rest of the field. Personal shopper is back and forth. Off the turn now, and it's in the centre, Broughton's Bandit. A Bart on the inside. The stand side is Cousin Bill. The stretch across the track. A hundred yards to go. A Bart on the inside of Broughton's Bandit. They're racing towards the nine. Neck and neck. A Bart on the inside. A Bart on the inside side of Broughton's Bandit, third is Cousin Bill, personal shopper, and then subtitle and Clooney Dream. Coming now towards the final flight, Broughton's Bandit and Paul Carberry joined by Cousin Bill and Noel McParlin on the near side. The inside is a Barton, Luke Dempsey. These three have brushed off the rest of the field. Personal shopper is back and forth. Off the turn now, and it's in the center. Broughton's Bandit, a Bart on the inside. The stand side is Cousin Bill. The stretch across the track, a hundred yards to go. A Bart on the inside of Broughton's Bandit. They're racing towards the nine, neck and neck. A Bart on the inside. A Bart on the inside side of Broughton's Bandit, third is Cousin Bill, personal shopper, and then subtitle and Clooney Dream. And it's Canadian Steel in the lead for Declan Lavery, chased by one more zero and Noel McParland. In third place is Oakfield Rose and Luke McGuinness as they climb now towards the final 150 yards. Canadian Steel on the rail in the centre Oak is one more zero and Oakfield Rose is finishing best of all on the near side. And Canadian Steel is collared by Oakfield Rose and Luke McGuinness who've got up. Canadian Steele is second, and in third place, one more zero. Taylor Storm next, but Oakfield Rose and Luke McGuinness have claimed the bumper.